Okay, this is Fee and I have a package. Um, this package was something I ordered on the 8th of May, Wednesday. Um, made a payment for it for the, on the 9th, Thursday, and today is Tuesday the 14th. However, it arrived yesterday and I was actually um, asleep when they went to deliver it, so I had to pick it up this morning. This, um, straight up, this is a short link canvas. So what I'm going to say is if you don't like short link canvas, that's fine by me. I had one short link canvas. I had no issues with the canvas, but the drills were... Um, very, very static hit. So um, I got a lot of amusement out of that one when I unboxed it. So, where is it? I'm just, just digging through for my um, unboxing thing in me. So, works out that it basically took three business days or less than three business days. Um, but all up, I suppose, five days to arrive. I paid $28 for postage to get it air freighted. And, yeah, five days. Kind of not bad. Not bad speed-wise. Speed okay, so it is... Very well taped, and actually, if if you actually saw the picture that that actually it's not you won't see it. I post it in my vlog. You will see a picture of um, this box with this particular tear in it. Um, that's one thing I did say when I was um, talking about it in my vlog was this is the picture for their proof that they've box it up for me to send it. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, so we'll see how we go. My little cutter, which, Jesus, this is taped really well. Where am I going to go from? I just need to get under a bit. So, Short link canvas, if you've not seen one before, I did do um, an unboxing and a kit up, and I also did a yep, and I also did um, whip, whip and chat and post reviews on this on the short link canvas. And as I said, no issue with the canvas, the canvas is actually folded. folded. I like the canvas. Struggled a bit with the symbols because the ink does tend to blend into the canvas. So there was some bits where I found it very hard. But the biggest thing for me was, um, I suppose the biggest thing to me was the static because I, these things had a mind of their own. So, what? This is 200 centimetres by 75, so two metres to get rid of that box. Um, and it is a landscape. Well, that's it there. Might put that, I'll see how it goes. It might end up on the wall directly behind me. Okay, so um, this is, so short length canvas, it's a folded canvas and the folds for the short length that I did before which is a 75 by 75 they came out with not much issue um, I have that sorry I have it um, still hanging on a skirt hand because I'm trying to work out how I want to frame it and, and put it up so um, I'll probably be putting that in my resin room. Okay. So it's got a nice little 
that bit as well, the boxes. And it slides out. Nothing further in there. This is empty. So yes, there is a diamond painting in this. And then again, I put my tape measure down somewhere and I can never find it. Hold on a sec. Okay, so tape measure back. I thought what I'd do is actually measure the box. So the box in itself is 35 by about 28 centimetres. So look, there's a 200 centimetre in here. Okay. So there we go, there's the canvas and there's the drills. Right, so toolkit. I actually get in this one, there's actually two dual trays, only one tray of wax and two pens with the three placer. This is a round drill. And it's actually from the same company. Well, it came from Alibaba. Now, this is the same place where, exactly the same place where I got my last one from. However, mine was brought, my last one was brought through another lady. And, um, yeah. I'll, I'll, for a lady from the US, she does have a YouTube channel, um, got a bit, um, there was a bit of drama when I did my last one, so, which is one of the reasons why I'm not saying her name, but one of the things I did have, when the last one I got, they give you a plastic bag, so what you can do is roll the canvas back up. The canvas, the plastic bag that I got on the last one, there was no way was I going to get it to fit back in. But this bag is 100 centimetres, so a 75 centimetre canvas, when I roll it up, will fit in there. Uh, another box bag. I don't need that plastic bag. <sighs> okay. The drills and the canvas. The toolkit can go to the side. <laughs> oh, how big is this? So look at how this is. This is, you can see it in decreases. So, but I will say this, I will hang this up or I will roll it and I won't have any issues. Um, I'm actually not worried about it. The first time I did get a short link canvas, I was concerned about it. Um, if I really, really am worried, I'll do what I've done with other canvases. I'll use my hairdryer on it. Um, but um, this one is fine as it is. How, do, how much do those folds scare you? <laughs> okay, so this is a very, very long one. And I'm just trying to find the other end of it. I'm just going to work out. Okay, so it's actually 75 centimetres, so all the way along. And the symbols, no, I don't need to do this. The symbols are along the bottom of the canvas. And, oh, shoot. And, hang on, rolling and unrolling and unrolling. Wow, that's huge. That is huge. Um, I'm just going to fold it back. And that's the thing, with the size of this, I'm not scared about folding it because I've actually dealt with something like this before. But how many colours? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 colours. Wow, 51 colours. That's um, that's one of the colours. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, something that um, I struggle with is DMC codes out of order. Now, this is not, these don't have DMC codes. These are not DMC codes. So I'm going to just reiterate that. These are not DMC codes. Wasn't DMC codes on the last one I got. So the codes, they're not in order, but the order, if it's like the last one, and it should be because it's the same company, the way that these will be is in, sorry about the noise, the way these will be will be in quantity order. <laughs> Okay, I'm chuckling already because, uh, see that back there, when we zoom, see the static in that, so I'm going to have a lot of fun there, these are going to bounce again, but did I say 51 colours, I think that's what I think, bear with me while I do a little bit of a pencil. It's Christmas. <laughs> okay. Radio and just want to see. So the last time I did this. I had to work out my numbers, <laughs> both having a sniff of things, because the numbers are pretty hard to figure out. Um, I can see that one. I'm just going to think it'll be that one. Looks like it. Okay. Yep. So, <laughs> oh, more static. I'm going to be swearing at this one like I was the last one. Right again. So what I've just looked at on here. So this is, if I do that, maybe it'll focus on that instead of everything behind it. This is actually number one. This code here, 72081, is actually on the top of the canvas. So I put these back in the plastic bag and because it's got the code I can track it, you know, um, if I happen to, <laughs> oh, I'm going to chuckle and swear at this one with the kit, with the, with the drills, oh, um, but yeah, um, I suppose first things first, I will sort these into order, make sure I've got every one of them. I know that what I'll be looking for is quantities, so the bigger bags I'll get and sort first. I am going to, okay, I might just put the drills away, pull up this canvas a little bit and um, stop crimping and I will come back to you, I will try and sort this canvas out and try and get this camera in a better angle. So you can see it a lot better. Okay, so I've some form of rigging up of my camera. So you might be able to get a better view of uh, the actual picture. And I'll put it down there. And then we go over to 
Pitch the It's going to be so cool when it's done. It's going to be a bit. A bit awkward on my desk, but I think I'll be able to manage it. So there's one, two, one big waterfall and a lot smaller waterfall. It does have symbols up the top. <laughs> Oh, where's that tape measure? <laughs> actually, what I was talking about is the symbols actually take up like 70 centimetres. Canvas size, the, the picture size, the drill area, is only 68. So it's not the true, not the true size, not the true width. Um, actually, I will have to measure this off camera because there's no way I can measure that length of on the camera. Um, look at how much I'm just throwing this around and holding it. That's just to show you how, how much I'm not concerned about it. Um, I'm only taking a small corner off. Um, and just... So I have to do the divot in here. And I reckon my hair dryer, if I have if I think I have to do it, my hair dryer will probably sort that out. But I think I'll be able to get it without any issue. Um, that in itself straightened out that bit a little bit. Uh, but to manage this, what I'm going to do is because I start from the left, which is actually that side, I am going to roll this and um, I make use of things that are left over and I'm actually going to roll this around be whatever moment to choose. So so that's just rolling it around. I think what I will do is I'm going to have to put this on the floor. Doing that, there we go. Put this on the floor and have a better look at it. Um, okay, so what I've now done is I've rolled that onto an ever moment shoe, so now it's manageable. So just something, a little trick like that, you know, if you've got a big canvas. Um, not necessarily fold it like I have. Don't don't do that to use other canvases. But roll it onto a tube. If you've got something that is really long, it is so much easier to be able to manage it by um, tube. What I will do actually while I'm here, I'm going to pause. I'm going to grab my hair on and I'm going to just give these a go. Um, so you can you can actually really see that. So I'm doing. I'm going to lift the plastic off. I'm going to put the hair dryer on it, and I'll show you. Um, well, these folds should, but a lot of this should come out. But the hair dryer, I might need it on that. Let's say I've done it on my lids now, and they don't really um, concern me. I mean, this canvas in itself. What was it, about twenty three US dollars for this canvas? So um, I will be back with the hair dryer. Um, I was going to get the hair dryer. I've actually decided that I'm not going to do that. What I will do is um, do what I should do with it, which is lay it out flat, completely flat, and then um, come back and show you what it looks like when it's completely flat. 
Um, but I need to just put it down on a flat surface completely on the folder. So what I do need to do is actually get all the um, codes. So I'm going to go write those all down on a nice little notebook. And then I will, um, from there, I'll make sure I have the right drills. So I'll fast forward through this process. Um, you're not going to see much anyway. <laughs> Far out. Um, you might see a bit. But I will fast forward you through this bit. Um, I think I'm going to try and change the angle of this camera again. Oh, this is a big one. Okay.
Okay, so 52 colours. I'm going to go put this, um, go lie this flat um, and come back to that one uh, later on in this recording. So obviously I'm going to have to put a few things together. Um, but this one I will now go through. And I'm going to pause this, let's get rid of this. I'll get this one off the desk and then I'll go through the drills to make sure I've got them all. Okay, so now I've got my canvas is now flat on the floor in um, spare bedroom, guest bedroom. Got too much stuff in my craft room. So now it's a case of going through these drills. Now, one of the things I learned from the first one that I did is, I think I may have already mentioned it, is these are in, these numbers are in quantity order. So, a bit of rustling. So what I'm going to do is sort through these in quantity order first, and then I'll check off that they're here, and um, I'm going to fast forward this step.
Okay, so they are all there. Um, yeah, they're all there. And because I had an understanding of how these numbers work, I was able to put these in order of what's on the canvas which I've written on there. So I've got a good lot of order for this. Um, which means when I, because the symbols are so different. Um, I've got to actually work out how I'm going to do it because I don't think I'm going to. If, if I will say, if the symbols, if the legend had been straight down, it's easy to photograph and put onto labels. But it's going across. So by going across, it's just harder to um, take photos of and resize it so I can put it onto labels. So I've got to work my work around that. I will say there is three lots of AB drills. So we have <laughs> oh sorry, I'm just trying to put it so that you've got some white so you're not seeing so it's in focus on the drills, not on my hands or anything like that. There we go. So what we've got is yellow, we've got some red AB, although they're not really showing, and white AB. I wonder if I do that. There we go. So yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. Um, so all the drills are there. I've got the canvas, I've got the kit, the, the tools, so it's all here. This will now go into, <laughs> this will now, these will now go into, um, before I kit up, you can see there is so much static. So if you do buy from these guys, um, just be aware that there is a lot of static so you will need the dryer sheets and even before I kit this up, these are all going in the freezer. Um, 
but I will put these away. Now for me to just, the easiest way that I do this um, is actually I put them in the tray in their order. <laughs> I think there's so many colours I'm going to have to grab a second tray because once you sort them out into an order, it's much easier to work with them. Gosh, okay. Much easier if, when it comes to fitting up if you manage to fit with an order. Um, and I'm like that with everyone. If I can work out an order and a pattern to make it work, it just helps my brain function a bit better. Um, I need to go and grab another. I've got one here. I need to go and grab another one of these things. All right, so I've grabbed the second tray. I'll pop these away. Now, if you are interested in um, oops, don't mess up. If you are actually interested in getting your own short neck canvas, um, I will link the um, I, will, I will put the a link to um, diamond painting with orchid up here somewhere, and once I link and link that up for you, she um, is. So I've tried to order the short, a short length canvas a couple of times and I struggled. I gave up on the um, God no, these are slightly out of order. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate myself for that when I put it up. Oh well. Um, so her instructions were what made it so much easier for me, I was able to um, put a couple of bigger ones at the front there. Um, I was actually able to order them, order this without half as much as it. So go through diamond painting with orchid and her step-by-step -step guides is good. Um, where is it? Part of the process is that you ask me for a catalogue and you ask for a short link catalogue and they will send you this with all these different pictures for you to choose from. Most of them are partials. Um, yeah, there is a lot of partials and what it does show is it does show what the picture's like and then it does show the drill area. So that you can see exactly what you're getting. Just it's just that it's such a small print. What it has in there is it does say I'm gonna focus on it. Um, minimum quantity, minimum order quantity is five. However, you can get you can just get the one. And you know that gives the US price on it. Then there's a 208 by 75, a 199 by 90. Something's just gone on on my computer that I don't know what's just happened. <laughs> oh, God, what's going on? It seems to think that I'm streaming. But I'm not. Who knows what it's doing? Sorry, guy. No. Nah. What's it doing? 
No. I'm definitely not streaming, although I just got notification that I was, so that's a little bit um, wacky. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, is it telling me I'm streaming? Past live streams, nothing there. Okay. Oh. Well. Oh. Well. Doesn't matter. I'm not streaming. I may have to cut that bit out, I think. Um, so, yeah. If it, it, it does give you the sizes, um, and you can order just the one, and yeah, you know, the prices are. When you look at the size of them, the prices are pretty, you know, 150 by 50, $9.68. It's a partial, and I think that is actually a three panel. Um, you know, 164 by 75, partial. So, that, you know, there is some, there is some nice ones in there. If you like your peacock design, um, I'm not keen on partials, but I tell you what, I was close to ordering that one. Because that's pretty with the um, zoom properly, the lavender fears. Um, so leave that there. You'll see me putting this up a bit later. Um, I will come back in the, I suppose, in the next couple of seconds. Um, but I have 55 colours, so I will be kitting it up in this one, which has the... 60. Um, so that's the um, 60, 60 bottle container. So I'll be kidding that one up in there and I've got to work out how to do my label. That's the worst bit, is just to me. Well, no, sorry. The static is the worst bit. <laughs> the static struggle is real, but the, the second one is going to work out how I'm going to uh, manage labels. So, um, Stay tuned, I'll be back in a sec with the canvas. Okay, so um, <laughs> this canvas is so big I've had to put it on my table. And I'm just giving it, I don't, instead of ironing, I use using a hairdryer. And I actually thought that you might find this handy. One of the things with a big canvas is instead of peeling back long sheets, your long sheet of clear plastic. If you actually roll it, it makes it a lot more manageable and a lot easier to flat it back down. What I do have also is my light pad and my hot hair dryer on the lower setting. And what I do is I will heat this up a bit, then I put the hair dryer line down with it still on and I push down like that. Um, so yeah, I will um, do this, so I will cut the sound out so you don't hear the hair dryer because it's so bloody loud, um, and you just watch how I use it. The size of the canvas, I'm not able to pull it like I would if it was a um, smaller canvas, because I just can't pull, it's two metres long, there's no chance of pulling this. So I've done both sides of this, um, both ends of this. This is not too bad. Um, I will now turn it upside down, and you know this is two and a half metres long. So I'm actually going to turn it down. <laughs> Definitely need the table for this. Okay. There we go. 
These, I think, are AB drills, or these little red ones, or most, there's a good percentage of them. Beautiful waterfall. Another beautiful waterfall. Anyway, I just disappeared and grabbed my, grabbed a skinny foam roller, which I got from another diamond painting and an ever moment. And what I'm going to do is roll it over. When I first had this, I rolled it on the outside. Um, I think it is better. Once I start drilling it, yes, I will have to roll it out. Okay, so as I said, that's the, the cat. That's the canvas ready to go. Rolled up, ready to work on. Um, it's as far as I'm concerned. I don't need to do anything more than that um, with it being rolled, and for how long it's going to take me to do this thing, um, it'll sort out now here because it's stopped being folded. I have the drills all sorted now. And one thing I didn't show you is, I may have already showed you, but I'm making sure I cover it. The, it's a round, it's supposed to be 200 by 75 as per there. When you order from this company, you get to see the picture and then you get to see what will be drilled. So this is a full drill. They did have on the back there only six steps to a diamond painting addiction, which is pen in the wax, pen in the wax, pen with wax into the tray, drill it, pour it, and it actually does show you when you're working on it to roll it outside. So once finished, cover with release film and the roll, roll the painting from the back side. So when I finish this, this will get rolled that way um, after I work on, on my sections. Okay, so um, between the section where I started using the hairdryer on the canvas, before, uh, before the, so in the middle between starting on the hairdryer on the canvas, I went back and looked at what um, the short link canvas that I did previously, the boot. And um, one of the, well, there's a few things about it. Right through, I've liked this canvas. Um, my big issue with this was actually a lot of the drama that went around the round with the drama with it. But, however, when I was um, doing the kitting up with the amount of as you see, the static in the bags. Okay, even yeah, you see that all the static. Um, with all that static in the bags, I struggled putting them into containers. What I am going to do this time, I already had it for the other time, was um, the dry sheets. Um, dry sheets which I'll cut into squares um, and put into the into the jars however what I plan to do is I'll actually pour the drills out onto the dry sheet so hopefully that will take up some of the static before I put it into the jars and it'll stop it bouncing around and um, sorry for that noise that is my washing machine <laughs> That's clever, really nice, really nice sounds. Um, when you work 120 hours in a fortnight, you've got to find every opportunity you can to get a, get your washing done. So anyway, the um, I'll pour it onto the beads, or the drills onto dryer sheet. 
Um, I will put a white paper on white paper underneath this. I won't do it directly over the canvas because I think the plastic going onto the plastic is only going to make it worse. Um, what I did do, I did take, did use my, have I got it the right way for you? Yep. I used the phone, took pictures of the labels. Um, That's what happened the last time I did a, a diamond painting. Using that kit, I didn't throw away at my trash drills. Okay. Ah. If you see, I've got it to the size where, oh, gosh, I'm too far away from the camera. The actual label, zero one, and dot will actually fit directly on top of that. Okay, so the labels will go directly on top. Um, I know I'd be surprised if one bag, one, one bag's probably going to fill two of these containers. So like I did for the last unboxing, I did, oh well, the kitting up, I, did, I forgot, haven't released that kitting up. Um, the kitting up that I did for the last one, I ended up using labels on one and just using the Dymo label maker just for the number. So I'll do that with this one. Um, but yeah, this one is all ready to kit up. These will go in the freezer now and um, probably kit this up tomorrow just so that it's kitted up and out of the way and uh, get this uploaded not long after I get this one up. So hopefully you like this. Um, the YouTuber, Diamond Painting with Orchid, is, um, I've got a link, should be in the, um, I'll put it on the information box at the top right, or, and I will put a link down uh, in the comments below. I will request though if you have got anything negative to say about this because you just don't like the short link canvas, um, I will read your comment and I'll probably delete it. Um, this is about how I feel about something and my reaction to things. Um, so yeah, that's, what more can I say to that? This is my opinion and my reaction and how I feel, which is what all my uh, all my um, video footages that I put up is. Um, so yeah, hopefully you like. Thumbs up, thumbs out. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, leave a comment if you like it. Um, hopefully if you do like it and you see this work progressing along, you do have a look at um, trying it out I mean, there is one lady in the US you can get it from and um, but I, with what's happened previously I'm actually leaving that there but this the links provided will take you to the way you get it and I mean this one cost me 55 US to get it to me the last short link canvas I ordered which was 75 by 75 cost more than a hundred Aussie dollars to get it to me and this one only cost about 65 Aussie um, and so much bigger so yeah um, for yourself for your own way your own thoughts and procedures and how you want to do things um, think about it and um, contemplate whether you'd like to do it or not if you do recommend you going through Alibaba to get it and um, I will Talk to you later. Bye.